Welcome back to LOTF 66.6. .6. Today we have a very special guest. Ralph, one of the survivors from the island, is here with us today, speaking out for the very first time about his incredible story. It's a pleasure to have you here, Ralph. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Ralph, why have you finally decided to speak out about this after all these years? Well, it was a terrifying experience. I try not to think about it too much, but as time went by, I think I've gotten over it and I'm ready to share my story. Alright, so let's get straight into the questions. What would you say was the scariest thing about being stranded on the island? Well, I think it had to be not being able to trust everyone on the island. I mean, Simon and Piggy were pretty much the only people that I could trust. I knew that the others could turn on me at any moment. And as we all know, that's exactly what they did. So did you feel that Jack was going to betray you from the beginning? Well, I knew he wasn't happy that I was chosen to be leader, but I didn't think that he was going to betray me. I thought that we were just here to survive, stay for a few days, and hopefully get rescued. But as the days went on, I realized we didn't have the same ideas. I was focused on keeping us safe and getting rescued, but all he wanted to do was hunt pigs. At that point, I realized that things were probably not going to work out. I was, I was just waiting for the moment that he would try to take over and be the leader. So Ralph, what caused you to realize that civilization was important? When Jack and his choir boys became crazy and bloodthirsty, they became extremely aggressive and only cared about killing pigs. I mean, that annoyed me, but I never thought that they would take it as far as killing another person. It was really tough. My desires almost took me over a few times. It's kind of hard to stay civilized when we knew we could do anything we wanted. No one would be able to stop us. So what are your thoughts on Roger? I never expected Roger to turn into the person he became. He was probably the most quiet person on the island when we first arrived. He didn't say much. He just kind of sat there. He kept everything to himself. But it was like something or someone just took over Roger. I mean, how could he kill someone like that and just laugh about it? He didn't have any regret, any guilt. All he did was laugh. I guess he realized that no one was going to stop him, and he took advantage of it. It's a shame Piggy had to pass away like that, Ralph. Why didn't you join Jack and Roger's tribe? It just wasn't the right thing to do. There was no way I was going to do the things they did. If I joined them, we would be stuck on the island for life hunting pigs. And who knows what they would torture after they got bored of hunting pigs. Could have been me next. Alright, Ralph, we have enough time for one last question. Ralph, what was it like on the plane trip back home? It was really weird. It was like they just snapped out of it as soon as they saw the naval officer. Whatever it was inside of them just disappeared. They went back to being how they were when we first met. Jack and his choir boys, they were just laughing and joking around. Roger went back to being the silent person that he was. It was like they completely forgot that they were just trying to kill me a few minutes ago. Wow, what an amazing story. We thank you for taking your time to speak to us today.